Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on number basis. We'll be looking at conversion, specifically decimal fractions and other bases. I still remain Abdurrahman Omar. If you are joining us now, check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get the link to other videos on number bases. So let's go. We start with problem one. For problem one, convert 29.125 to A, octal numbers, B, bisma numbers, that's base two with point. We call it bisma number with bisma point. And quaternary numbers, that is base four. So we start with the A part of the problem. That is the octal numbers. We're going to convert this in two parts. We take the whole number part first, then followed by the decimal fractional part. So taking the whole number part, we are going to convert to base eight by continuous division and taking the remainder. So we go with the table. This is the number 29. And this is the remainder column. So we are dividing continuously by 8. 29 divided by 8 gives 3. Remainder 5. That is 8 times 3 is 24. 24 plus 5 gives 29. Again, we divide by 8. 3 divided by 8 gives 0. Remainder 3. Since this is 0 here, we stop here and read the values upward so then we now go to the fractional part and the fractional part is one two five in this case we are going to have the number on this column then the overflow overflow in the sense that we are going to be multiplying by eight because we are converting to base eight so multiplying by eight there are three digits here so the three digits will all go here. If it becomes four, meaning the first digit will flow up to this uh, overflow column. Like we have uh, eight times five is 40. So we write zero carry four. Eight times two is 16 plus four, 20. You write zero carry two. Eight times one is eight. And plus two you carry is 10. So the this we already have two digits here. We write the zero here and carry the overflow up to this overflow column. And uh, since we have these three digits here to be zeros, we stop here and then we read downward in this case. So that 29.125 will be three five point one base eight and that is the value of 29.135 in base eight as given in example one a then we go to one b for one b bisimal numbers we already stated that bisimal numbers is base two with the bisimal point since this is a decimal number with the decimal point, the equivalent will be bisimal in base two. So we start with the whole number part again by continuous division by two and take the remainder. So we have our table, this is 29. This is the remainder column. We divide by two. 29 divided by two gives 14 remainder 1 then we divide 14 by 2 again that gives 7 remainder 0 and again divide by 2 7 divided by 2 gives 3 remainder 1 3 divided by 2 gives 1 remainder 1 then we divide by 2 again 1 divided by 2 is 0 then remainder 1 since we have 0 here we we'll stop here then we'll be reading it upward. That is the whole number part. We go to the 
fractional part, which is still one, two, five. We have the number and we have the overflow column here. We are going to multiply by two since we are converting to base two. And uh, we have three digits here. When we multiply and it is up to four digits, meaning the first digit we overflow to this column. So two times five is 10, we write zero, carry one. Two times two is four plus one, five. Two times one is two. Since we still have three digits, so we are going to record the overflow as zero. Then we go ahead again to multiply by two. Two times zero gives zero. Two times five gives 10, carry one. Two times two gives four plus one gives five. We still have three digits here. There's no overflow, but we record it as zero. Then we multiply by two again. 2 times 0 gives 0, 2 times 0 gives 0, and 2 times 5 gives 10. So we record 0 here and take the 1 to the overflow column. Then since we now have 0, 0, 0 here, we'll stop here and then read the values downward. So that 29.125 will be 1, 1, 1, 01.001 base 2. And that is the end of solution to problem 1b. We go to problem 1c. For problem 1c, we are to convert 29.125 to quaternary numbers, which is base 4. Again, we start with the whole number part which is 29. In this case, we continuously divide 29 by 4 and take the remainder. So dividing by 4, 29 divided by 4 gives 7. That is 28. If you multiply 4 by 7, then the remainder will be 1. Then we divide by 4 again. 7 divided by 4 gives 1, remainder 3. We divide by 4 again. 1 divided by 4 gives 0, remainder 1. As usual, we read upward. That is the whole number part. So we go to the fractional part. We still create our table where in the second column here we have the number and the first column we have the overflow. And since we are converting to base 4, we multiply by 4 and the uh, 4 times 5 is 20, you write 0, carry 2. 4 times 2 gives 8 plus 2. That's going to give us 10, you write 0, carry 1. 4 times 1 is 4 plus 1, 5. Since we still have 3 digits here, we record the overflow as 0. Then we multiply by 4 again. And multiplying by 4, 4 times 0 gives 0, 4 times 0 gives 0, 4 times 5 gives 20. So you write the 0 here and bring the 2 here under the overflow. And again, we have 0, 0, 0 here. We are stopping here so that we now read downward. And then from here, 29.125 will be 131. Point zero two base four, and that is the end of solution to one C. And invariably, that is the end of problem one. We go to problem two. For problem two, we are to convert each of the following to base ten. So we have the first one to be base two, the second one to be base four, and the third one to be base eight. So this is to inform you that. For problem 1, even if it is to another base other than 2, 4, and 8, it is still the same method. So you take the whole number part, convert it to base 10, take the fractional part and convert to base 10 also, the same method. So in this case now, um, starting from problem 2a, 
we are going to expand this so i expand this then you start from this bisma point from this point we number from the right to the left starting from zero so this is going to be zero one two three four then after the point to the right we number from negative one negative two and so on depending on the number of digits after the point then we pick the first number which is one multiply by the two which is the base then raise to power four plus one times two raised to power three plus zero times two raised to power two plus one times two raised to power one plus one times two raised to power zero plus one times two raised to the power of negative one and finally plus one times two to the power of negative two so um two to the power of four is 16 times one gives 16 and here we have two to the power of three which is eight times one eight so we have it as plus eight whatever you do here is going to be zero so we have it as plus zero one times two raised to the power one two raised to the power one is two times one gives two so we have plus two then two raised to the power zero is one so we now have one times one which is one we now add one and uh, for your information two raised to the power negative one is one over two so one over two times one will still give you one over two so we have it as plus one over two then two raised to the power negative two will be one over two squared and two squared is four so making the whole of these to be 1 over 4 then multiply by 1 gives 1 over 4 so we have it as plus 1 over 4 then this is 10 26 27 the whole number part is 27 this is plus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.25 so adding them together we have it as 27.75 so we have converted this bisimal number to decimal number, which is 27.75. And that's the end of solution to 2A. We go to 2B. For 2B, again, we expand these numbers and uh, we start from the point. We move to the left, starting from 0, 1, 2 these digits have been numbered then from the point to the right we number negative starting from negative one negative two and negative three then we pick the first digit which is a two multiply by four to the power of this two plus one which is the next digit multiply by four that is the base raised to power one then plus three times 4 raised to the power 0 plus 1 times 4 raised to the power negative 1 plus 2 times 4 raised to the power negative 2 plus 1 times 4 raised to the power negative 3 so 4 squared is 16 16 times 2 is 32 4 raised to the power 1 is 4 times 1 gives 4 and 4 is to power 0 is 1. 1 times 3 gives 3. And uh, this is 4 is to power negative 1. That's 1 over 4 times 1 will give us 1 over 4. That's plus 1 over 4. Also 4 to the power of negative 2 is 1 over 4 squared. And that will give us 1 over 16. Multiply by 2 we have 2 over 16 plus 4 raised to the power negative 3 is 1 over 4 cubed and 4 cubed is 64 so we will now have it as 1 over 64 times 1 which gives 1 over 64 so adding up the whole number part 
we have 32, 36, 39. I have 39 plus 0 0.25. This is 1 over 8 in decimal will be 0 0.125. And 1 over 64 is 0 0.015625. So adding them up, we have 39.390625. And that is the end of solution to problem 2B. We go to problem 2C. I have 176.32 base A to be converted to base 10. That is to be converted to decimal numbers. Again, we write out and space out the numbers. And we have... From the point to the left, we start numbering 0, 1, 2. And from the point to the right, we start numbering negative 1, negative 2. So from here, I have, um, I pick 1 multiplied by the base, which is 8 raised to the power 2, then plus 7 times 8 raised to the power 1, plus 6 times 8. 8 raised to the power 0 plus 3 times 8 raised to the power negative 1 plus 2 times 8 raised to the power negative 2. So 8 squared is 64 times 1 gives 64 and 8 to the power of 1 is 8 times 7 gives 56. 8 to the power of 0 is 1 times 6 gives 6. Then 8 to the power of negative 1 gives 1 over 8 times 3 will give us 3 over 8. And 8 to the power of negative 2 gives 1 over 8 squared, which is 1 over 64. Multiply by 2, we have 2 over 64. Then adding up this, this is 120 plus 6, 126. Changes to decimal fraction, we have it as 0 0.375, then 2 over 64 is 0 0.03125. Then adding up this, we have 126.40625. And that is the end of solution to example 2. This is the highest we can take in this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get link to other videos on number basis. Until we come your way again, goodbye.